also cares for the other because if you are stressed and there is a support system i'm sure if we asked you there was a support system and i wonder who that was for you and even him even if it was from the church the family today needs to know if you are there ready for your loved one things can never go wrong and you don't have to also be hyper like them somebody who is so stressed gets to a home where the wife is so stressed the children are so stressed what do you expect in that home but i would like to tell all that are watching us today tonight if you have a family member if you have a classmate for those that are in universities if you have a friend and you're able to tell they are actually stressed try as much as possible to embody calmness within yourself there is a way you start sending the energies that are calm and positive and that is what you received somebody telling you i love you we don't have to be psychologists all of us in this country but we can have people who can learn to have compassion compassion goes beyond seeing somebody suffering and desiring to do something about that suffering and believe you me if everybody woke up and said i want to elevate pain from somebody else either by being there by being mindful for the people who are in the policy making desks i want to push for a policy that in this nation there are people who suffer more than others can i be there and be an advocate without fighting because you don't have to keep fighting in this nation when we know what needs to be done and if you also don't know don't be embarrassed again we are going to say you are stressed say you need support can we have people who are going also to be willing in this nation to say i don't know that can I get support? All right. And I believe we can be some get more support. Yeah, Mashirima. Right. Nam Dr. Gitao katika hali mambo yote ambayo umesema kuna wawili ambao wangependa kuongezea tu kupitia kwa maswali yao. Wewe ndio simama tafadhali. Dr. Gitao unasema tuongee. Okay, Wazazi one. na watoto wanazungumza. Okay, my name is Wendy B from St. Pauls and I'm asking like you see so many children or youths nowadays they are suffering from depression and stress and once you go tell your parent your mom or your dad like mom I have stress then they'll ask you uko na stress ya nini na wewe ni mdogo so you'll find that at the end of the day like you'll be afraid of telling them what you're going through or what is happening in your life because instead of them helping you they're now questioning you so you you have that fear and then you have you know you have the boundaries when you're speaking to your elders so you'll find out like it's so difficult for you to talk to them and even when you share with your friends you'll find that most of your friends will just tell you like the common slug of nowadays ni life so when you're, you're talking to your fellow friends or uh, maybe your the siblings, they'll tell you ni life itaisha itapotea. But deep inside you, you're suffering and you don't know what to do. So um, again, the worry goes back to the parents from how they raise us, from how they're supposed to deal with us, from how how the child grows. Thank you. psychology ni wengi labda major retired mukuria Thank you so much. Um, listening to her. I thought about how you cannot you can only parent the way you are parented and so sometimes to be able to understand how your parent parents you you have to be able to understand how they were parented um, when you come of age that is and what is happening today is that the young people who are realizing early enough that the way their parents parented them is the best way they knew how to parent are the ones who are now cutting away and making a way for themselves uh, in appreciation to their parents for doing the best that they could do with what they had with what they knew right because you nothing comes out of nothing i i cannot be a loving and compassionate parent if i'm broken it's not possible and that is why to be able to have support structures that even support parents be better parents is something i'm very passionate about my treatment programs have to involve veterans being engaged in parenting coaching because it you have to teach people actually how to be good parents but given the place where you are right now please think about what i've said before and put it into consideration because what happens is that when we are busy judging our parents for how they did not parent us we become parents ourselves and then if we have not been able to evolve ourselves in the parenting model 
then we just go back to the default settings of how we were parented and we end up parenting our children the way we were parented and the cycle continues. I like the idea of self-awareness, to be able to know what is festering inside me, what is moving inside me in terms of my thoughts and my emotions, where are they driving me, what are the consequences of those going to be, and how do I call myself back? How do I step myself down? How do I moderate my feelings? How am I able to process all that? Very important things that have to do with you being very intentional about your mental health care. Okay. Tureje tena kwa wanajeshi kidogo labda hili swali linaweza kujibiwa na Byron hapo. Simama mami. Tuambie jina lako alafu tueleze maoni yako ni yapi haswa kuhusiana na wale ambao wanafanya kazi uh, kama afisa wa ulinzi. Asanti sana. Kwa majina naitwa Rosemary Otieno. I'm a wife of a military veteran. Na swali yangu nilikuwa nimeuliza it's like I would want to take it to major. What preparation is the military fraternity? I suppose also maybe in the police force are doing to the women or the wives of the officers and especially for the transition of retirement because I would call myself a civilian for that case but here is a case whereby you are giving me a veteran who maybe doesn't know how the civilian world look like how do I deal with him and especially when it comes to his mental health or maybe Bearing in mind that I'm in, I'm in relationship with him, how do I deal, and especially now with my emotions as a wife, to make sure that at least I can keep our relationship still live and become a good woman, both in the society and even to him. Okay. Two, there are those that you find like maybe he's from the war. He has come back home. What preparation are you doing to me as a wife so that at least I would handle this man with care such that he doesn't hurt me because he has been hurt. Thank you. Again, I will restrict my comments to veterans. Okay? okay? Unless the police want to say something. No. <laughs> I bet not. Well, reintegration is very very painful and difficult for military veterans because and and you know i i i often say and i think byron has said it um i think what we go through from basic training to the career that we go through it, it it's i feel like it changes changes us at a very fundamental point of view you know i mean i i remember not feeling safe at all being um, are like outside um, and to be able to have a process that helps us to be able to reorient ourselves for the purposes of reintegration is also something that is not automatic it has actually to be laid out and for the veterans that I work with I often say give yourself six to eight months to readjust and to reintegrate and never try to readjust and reintegrate without your family because the truth is most military families most military homes are matriarchs it is the women who lead these homes but then you have somebody who is still the traditional african man who wants to be able to still like you know take up those positions that are traditionally there but practically in reality that is not the case and I, I, I really honor the men who, to my question, who is the head of your family, they say the wife. Those who say I am, it's an ego trip. Let's just be honest. Because there is no way you're going to reintegrate if you do not involve your wife. It's actually not going to work out. And that's why reintegration is not just for that person. It's a family affair. Even the kids. You know, I've had people say to me, I was walking from the bedroom to the kitchen and I had the children saying, oh my God, now he's going to be here all the time. How are we going to survive? You know, 
and they end up feeling not wanted yeah. they end up feeling they are not needed but really it's a question of how do you once again reintegrate the family yeah. and bring back those ties of love compassion empathy and affection yeah. that actually make up family all right before you come